Hey guys, here's a quick review of the basic chemistry you learned in Chapter 3, Section 1. Everything on planet Earth and in outer space is composed of matter. And matter has smaller elements made up of it called atoms. An atom is going to be the smallest bit of any matter that exists. These atoms are then made up of other subatomic particles called protons, neutrons, and electrons. Protons have positive charge, neutrons have a neutral charge, and electrons have a negative charge. The protons and neutrons can both be found inside the nucleus, whereas the electrons are going to be orbiting around. If you have an atom and you're not sure which element it is, you're going to count up the atomic number, which is going to be the number of protons. That's what identifies an element. And you can find an element on a periodic table of elements. On the periodic table of elements, you can also find other information besides atomic number. Okay, you can find out how many valence electrons there are, which is the amount of electrons in the outer shell, okay, simply by counting over the group number. Uh, ones in group one are going to have one valence electron. Group two are going to have two valence electrons. You skip over the middle section and starting in group 13, they're going to have three, four, five, and so on. Now, when you're looking at atoms, you can actually make an atom into an isotope, which means that it has a different atomic mass, or the number of protons does not equal the number of neutrons. So when you think isotope, think neutrons. Okay? If you're asked to make an isotope, you're either going to be adding extra neutrons or taking away neutrons so that the number of neutrons does not equal the number of protons. If you're asked to make an ion, that means you're asked to make an atom that has a charge on it, either positive or negative. Now, you're only going to be adding or removing electrons. When you hear ion, think electron. We don't ever touch the protons because as soon as you change the number of protons, you're changing the element. Finally, guys, because all atoms want to be happy, right, they all want to have a full valence shell. And in order to do that, most of them are going to achieve this by bonding. There's two ways that we can bond. Okay, You can either bond ionically, which means you have two atoms taking or receiving electrons, and then they're held together by the opposite charges. Or you can have a covalent bond, where they're actually held together because they're sharing electrons. Finally, guys, the last thing you need to know from Chapter 3, Section 1 is polarity. Okay, there are certain uh, molecules that are actually polar, meaning that they have a, one section that's positively charged and one section that's negatively charged. This happens because the electrons are actually all grouped together up towards the top, and a perfect example of this would be a water molecule.